For NBA veteran and University of Maryland alum Gerard Mustaf, his lineage plays a primary role in the philanthropy and social responsibility of his everyday life. Beyond the game of basketball, Gerard and his father Shar Mustaf created a nonprofit program back in 1990 called the Take Charge Program. The program was founded as a diversion program where they took inner city kids from court systems and detention centers and enrolled them into the program to turn their lives around and provide hope. Present day, the program is centered around youth resistance to avoid negative behaviors and actions by the youth in the inner cities of Maryland and DC. While Gerard's father, Shar Mustaf, passed away in 2011, his legacy through the Take Charge program lives on. Joining us remote from Bowie, Maryland, is University of Maryland alum, NBA veteran, and the executive director of the Take Charge program, Gerard Mustaf. Gerard has a touching story to share that centers around his father's legacy and the impact he has made during his tenure with the Take Charge program. Gerard, I'm gonna let you dive right into the story and allow you to share your personal reflection from that special afternoon. The story takes place at a local barber shop. With no further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to Gerard so he can walk us through that unforgettable afternoon. I remember taking my son Jaden and grandson Jeremy to the barber shop near my house one afternoon. I was in the barber chair getting a shape up while the boys were in other chairs getting their haircuts. It's very known for people to stare at my height and stature and wait for an opening to ask if I play basketball. But on this sunny afternoon, one of the young men in the shop who was on his phone texting finally looked up and asked me, is your last name Mustaf? Are you related to Shaw Mustaf? When I replied, yes, that's my father. He asked me how my father was doing and I informed him that unfortunately my dad had passed away in 2011. The young man seemed genuinely hurt by the news of my dad's passing, and then he approached my chair and began to rattle off to me how much my dad did for him. The young barber cut my grandson's hair, mentioned that he was also in the Take Charge program, and that my father had a big influence on him as well. The young man started to talk about the Take Charge program, and then one of them said, my whole life people would tell me I was a bad kid, that I was a loser, and that I would never amount to anything. Those young men told stories of how they would go to the juvenile court expecting to be sentenced to time and that my dad would stand and speak highly of them, of their potential and ask the judge to allow him to work with them. Even when their families lost faith and gave up on them, they said that my father always told them how great they were and how much potential they possessed. As we sat there, they told me that his belief in them was the motivation that they needed during that period of rebellion. And then they told me how sad they were to hear that he was gone. As I sat there listening to those young men tell their stories, they actually gave my father a barbershop eulogy. I had to wipe tears from my eyes. Here I am, many years later, listening to these young men that were impacted by my father's legacy and seeing them now cut my grandson's hair. That alone made me realize that there's a high purpose beyond my father's vision for this program. His impact to the community and this program has been a ministry to the youth in need. Everything truly came full circle that afternoon and really touched me and reinforced the importance of being there for this next generation of youth that might be missing a father figure, a mentor, a role model, or who may not have a family or someone who just needs people to believe in them. The world needs more real life role models in their communities and to impact the youth of this great country. As for my father, he's with me every day in spirit and that gives me the strength and continued faith to make the difference in this world and bring grace and honor to the name Mustaf. Never underestimate the butterfly effect we can have onto others by just being present in their lives when they need us the most. To learn more about the Take Charge program, check out Gerard's full story on beyondthelegacy.com.